I'm also incredibly technologically literate, so can you hear me? Is this on? Okay. Thanks very much for this invitation. Um, it's really great to have such an enormous audience for such an enormously important topic, and it was a great privilege to contribute to this debate, so thank you, Pedro, for inviting me. I need to start with a confession that might be uncomfortable in this space now. I'm a product of Rhodes University, and I was an extremely happy and comfortable product of universities in South Africa. I came to university in 1992, so just as apartheid was ending, just in the new uh, regime. And just because of the kind of person I am, I was extremely happy in an academic space. Um, as Eusebius says, I'm a philosopher, I'm fairly shy, and academia suited me very, very well, and it still suits me very well. So I was comfortable there, I felt very much at home at Rhodes University, and then when I did my doctorate overseas, I felt very much at home in the university. Not in England, which is a miserable cold place, but in the university I was at, it was a place I felt at home. Now, when I came back from England and started for the first time to really think philosophically about my context, I had to start problematizing that comfortableness. I had to start thinking about why I was feeling at home and what it meant to feel at home in certain institutions. And I had to worry about why people weren't feeling home and realize how many people did not feel at home in the spaces that had all be, always been so accommodating to me. And that was a very, very upsetting realization. The space that has been so good to me and the subject that I feel so happy and comfortable within seem to be alienating for so many people. And that was a very sad realization. What is it about the space? What is it about perhaps my subject of philosophy that is just not talking to other people? Is not making them feel at home? So over many years I've been trying to become uncomfortable in my comfort, if you like, in an institution. And it's been quite a difficult personal journey. So what I did in the paper, in the book, was try and start from where I started, which was the, fe the sense of feeling at home in a place. And the book is called Being at, Being at Home or Feeling at Home, I forget. Being at Home. Being at home. So my paper is a, an analysis of what that could be. So what is the experience of feeling at home in an institution? And what would an institution be like or have to be like in order to provide a, a home for most people? That was the first bit of what I was doing in the paper. And I was speaking mostly for academics, though universities are very complicated spaces which makes transformation in them even more difficult because you have management, you have administrators, you have service staff, you have academics, you have marketing people, you have students. And all of these people need to in some way be comfortable in an institution. I think the very ideal of being at home in an institution places enormous problems on the transformation of an institution like a university because we have so many different kinds of people from so many different kinds of groups. How on earth do we achieve homeliness for so many different kinds of people? I think that is a challenge for universities, and I'm not quite sure it's entirely possible to meet this ideal. Somebody's going to be uncomfortable somewhere along the line. University management has to decide who that's going to be, and that again is a very political question. In the second part of my paper, I was thinking through the challenges more closely of um, the, the ideal of being at home and transformation. I've mentioned one of the problems. I think there are a few other problems I won't go into now. But partly what it comes down to is having some kind of agreement on what a university is. And if you're in other institutions, what the, the very point of, and existence of that institution is about. If we can find some kind of agreement there, then that might be a way to at least focus debates, share some ideal, to bring people together around. But again, I think that is very, very difficult to do. I mean, there must be at least 50 different views of what a university is in this room. 
How do we bring people together around one animating ideal in a, such a diverse country and such diverse institutions? So I, again, I think there is another issue there. I think what we need to do tonight then is think about what it would be like to be at home. Uh, we, are, we know there are problems in the universities and in many institutions. And as I've said, this is a very painful realization for me. What we need to now know is, or try and figure out, is what would have to change for you all to feel better in these institutions? What would they have to look like? So we need your views, and hopefully Eusebius will get these views. Well, people like me who work in these institutions, what do you need from us in order to feel at home in the institution? In order to give you the kind of experience that I had that was so very valuable to me. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.